All right, coaches, just want to talk a little bit about uh, some preseason items, some things that maybe we've already talked about. Um, this, this is mainly for head coaches, but also great for assistant coaches, too, as well, uh, to stay uh, <clears throat> transparent as possible and understand what we want to do, where we're, where we're headed, what we want to get done, all that good stuff. So, again, mainly for head coaches, but also great for the assistant coaches to know, um, some, like I said, some more in, or important information. So, hopefully by now, uh, all head coaches know who I am, but maybe some of the assistants maybe don't know yet. Uh, my name is Kyle Sasala. I'm the new athletic director. Started back in August. I've uh, been here for a couple months now and uh, loving it. Um, you know, um, obviously Carly, you know, everybody knows Carly. Um, she's the, she's our assistant athletic director as well as our girls basketball coach. Um, and, you know, does a great job with the kids and whatnot. Uh, Brian Knight, hopefully you know you know, you know who, who he is by now. He is our athletic trainer. Uh, that, that is his contact information as well as my contact information as well as Carly's. A uh, new addition to the team is Nico Ramacone. He is our strength and conditioning coach, kind of director, I guess you, you could say. Uh, but he is going to be overseeing all the strength and conditioning pieces um, moving forward, basically taking over for Kyle. Um, and he, he'll be in the in the building from 10 to 5, 30, 10 to 6, uh, depending on what the, the strength training programs look like after school. But he'll be doing some stuff during the day, too, as well. So give him a big warm welcome. Um, he already should have already reached out to all of you coaches um, for, for training times and, and whatnot. So please make sure you respond to him. Um, I want to make sure that all teams uh, are in the weight room. I don't care if the football, the biggest football or as small as swimming. I don't care. I, I want to push our, our weight you know, weight training program as much as we can and we, we, we're spending money on on Nico and we're, we spend a lot of money on that weight training facility so let's go ahead and use it uh, and get the big you know biggest bang for our buck and, and make sure that our, our student athletes are um, you know doing doing the best that they can and, and we can build them up in, in this uh, during the off season and also during the season so uh, again give Nico a round of, you know a big one welcome uh, Delon Carter, for those of you don't know, he, st he started back in last spring. He's been helping a lot with, a lot with football, uh, but he'll basically kind of be the right-hand man for Nico, helping him with programming and different things in, in the weight room. Um, so that's his contact information. Um, he's, he's been doing a great job with, with the kids, uh, and he'll be working with uh, all the teams as well. Alex Marconi, he is our BSN rep. Uh, we'll be hopefully maybe you know, working with a little bit more BSN uh, moving forward, and more information will come out about BSN here probably in the next couple of weeks. So, Again, that's our contact information. Let us know if you have any questions. Uh, and and let, us, let me know if you have any questions throughout. Uh, what I like to do is I like to have a, a usually a fall, winter, and spring coaches meeting just to kind of touch base with everybody. Um, depending on what you guys like, we can do it in person or we can do it online. I think it's a lot easier online because uh, you can kind of go at your own pace. You can watch the video. You can go through the PowerPoint, whatever it may be. Um, so go ahead and let me know what, what, what works best for you. But I think moving forward, we'll probably stick with the, the online portion of it. Um, uh, so go ahead and let me know. Um, moving on. Um, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, our, our athletics purpose. Uh, this is kind of our, our purpose vision statement, you know, St. Vincent St. Mary Athletics strives to be competitive in all sports, participating in the OHSA. Uh, while being also renowned for academic excellence through student athlete graduation rates and scholastic honors, athletics at STVM provides exceptional value for our student athletes on and off the playing field. I think it's a uh, big piece of that is the off the playing field. Obviously, I want them to be you know, great, great, um, great uh, athletes. You know, whatever sport they play, but also a great you know person off the field as well. Again, we're a big piece of what I like to talk about is, is transformational coaching. Um, you know, obviously using education-based athletics as a, as a platform to, to transform student lives, not only just to be, again, like I said, to be a better football, basketball, soccer, cheerleader, whatever it may be, but to be a better human being, you know, a um, better character, a better, just um, better person in general. Um, I think using sports is a great avenue to teach those, those things. Uh, we want to, you know, not just care about the, the X's and the O's, you know, we want to care about the, the individual and, and be kind of a, a role model for these student athletes, because I think they look up to uh, all of our coaches um, and teachers. So again, being a role model, um, you know, we, again, always understand that you know, we're developing the student athletes, you know, again, into these small, you know, in introverted, maybe shy, young young boys and girls into these, you know, energetic, you know, confident, you know, 
whatever you want to call it, you know, energy, you know, confidence, you know, young men and young women. Again, that that big the big transformational piece of it is you know changing them from those small itty bitty freshmen up, up until their, their seniors when they can, you know, really say they've learned something and they've developed as a as a athlete, but also as a person in general. So um, I want this to be a learning experience for them uh, that kind of goes with, along with development, you know, being a learning ex experience for them. You know, uh, there's many different things that you can learn throughout athletics that maybe you don't learn in the classroom, uh, whether it's confidence or, um, you know, being competitive or time management or, you know, um, uh, whatever it may be, you know, there's a bunch of different things, like I said, that maybe you don't learn in the classroom that you will learn on the field. Um, and that can translate, translate into the, the real world, whether it's college, um, or a job or the army, you know, again, we're teaching them these life lessons that they can take on with them, not just in their sport, but in, in their real life in general. Um, again, I talked about being, you know, being athletics is an extension of the classroom that goes along with the learning experience for this. This is a spot, a time for them to learn, um, even though maybe some of them don't think it is, but it's, it's a time for them to learn. Uh, again, other things, maybe than just, you know, their, their, their school subjects that they're learning. Um, accountability. Obviously, I want to you know, hold hold our students, you know, accountable. You know, make sure that they're respecting us, making sure that they're doing what they they're supposed to be doing. You know, make sure that they're following your rules, your guidelines, our rules, our guidelines. Um, that's a big piece of, of that learning experience and that transformation coaching is holding them accountable and, and and treating them like young adults. Because again, that's what we want to to transform them into. Um, I, I talked about having an impact on student athletes, I think, and talking about it being a role model. You guys are great role models. You know, teachers, coaches, administrators are great role models for these student athletes. So, again, uh, I think they have you, you guys have a huge, huge impact on these student athletes. And a lot of them can resonate with sports rather than maybe the the classroom. Um, not saying that the classroom doesn't you, the teachers don't resonate with the, the students, but I think uh, coaches do a great job of. Um, you know, being able to, uh, you know, build those relationships and, and, and work with our student athletes uh, on a different level and, and kids can really relate to that. Um, athletics is a privilege, not a right. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I think it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory that, you know, there it's to wear the same B, same Vincent St. Mary Irish uh, logo is, is a privilege, you know, and not everybody gets to make the team, not everybody gets to wear the logo, the, the jerseys, the, the, the team gear, all that good stuff. It's, it's a privilege to be a part of a team and, and to, to um, be a part of the school in general, you know. So again, athletics is a privilege, not a right. Uh, I want everybody, you know, all the teams to be competitive. Obviously, I'd be, you know, I'd be stupid not to say that I want to win. Um, but I think it's a lot bigger than just the, the X's and O's and wins and losses. I mean, don't get me wrong, I want to win and I hate losing. Uh, but I, again, I think if you're building a culture and, and you're, you know, you're you're teaching these life lessons and you're developing and you're holding these kids accountable and you're having an impact. Uh, you can win games uh, simultaneously by with doing that, those different things. So again, I want to win. I know the 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 mantra here at St. B is to win. And again, I, I want to continue on that. But I again I think I want to win the, the, the correct way, the right way. So again, being competitive. Um a, a, a big piece of that is I want it to be a positive and fun experience. I think a lot of times these coaches uh, or these kids and these families get away from, you know, the, the true meaning of sports. It's, it's supposed to be a positive and fun experience. You know, I want them to, to enjoy coming to practice, enjoy, you know, going to games, enjoy being a part of the team, the program and the culture. Um, so again, I think you guys have a, have a big piece of that. Again, just creating that positive and fun experience. I think, well, not, I think I know a lot, you know, 90 some percent of the, I'm a big statistics guy, 90 some percent of the time, uh, these student athletes are are doing their four years here at, at whatever high school, you know, CMB or whatever high school they're at. And then they don't go on to play, you know, at the next level, whether it be college or NFL, MB, MLB, whatever it may be. So again, needing, wanting to make this a positive and fun experience so that they can still stay within, um, you know, the, 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 the community, the school, you know, not just these four years, but, you know, later down the road, they can you know still say that they are part of, uh, you know, same to say, Mary, whether it's the team or the school or, or whatever it may be, or as a coach, whatever it may be. So that's a big piece of, to all this too, as well. And academics is pretty self-explanatory. You're a student first, athlete second, student athlete, obviously, you know, just make sure that you know, you're, you're preaching to your kids that they're, you know, you're getting all your, all their work done, making sure that they're, you know, taking care of all their uh, academics. Moving on, just some expectations of coaches. I think I already talked about this in that, in the head coaches meeting, but I want to talk about it again. I'm a big, big piece, a big uh, 
big uh, proponent of, of my whole my whole philosophy is communication, staying in just constant communication with uh, my golfers, student athletes, parents, uh, et cetera. You know, I like to say open, honest, transparent, and real time communication, not pretty self explanatory, but just again, over communicate just so that uh, there's not any breakdown in communication. I think a lot of what, uh, you know, some pissed off parents or whatever it may be, or, or, or issues or, or concerns are due to lack of communication or just a breakdown in communication. So again, stay in constant communication with your, your athletes and, and uh, you'll, you'll be good to go. Again, I want this to be competitive, competitive, you know, obviously, uh, like I talked about earlier, you know, respect, you know, if you respect me, I'll respect you. You know, I want, you know, coaches to respect all of our student athletes uh, and everybody, uh, parents, you know, everybody supports, uh, obviously you're there, you're there to support the program. I'm there to support you. Carly's there to support you. So again, you know, support goes both ways. Just let us know how we can both best support you, uh, and how you can support, best support the program moving forward. Uh, I like to say that, you know, the, the head coaches are kind of the ADs of your program. You're the director of your program, you know, expect you to be, you know, organized and run your program accordingly, you know, whether it's, weekly emails or, you know, it's, it's, you know, just, again, just delegating to your assistant coaches or whatever it may be, you know, again, being a debt director of your program, kind of like I'm, you know, myself and Carly are the, are the athletic directors of our, of our athletic office. So um, if you have any questions about that, let me know. Obviously I want to be student athlete centered. I think that's the reason why we do what we do. And you know, we want to help these student athletes as much as possible and, and put the emphasis on them and, and make, make sure that they are taken care of. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, again, hold students, athletes to a high standard. Again, it's it's a privilege, not a right to wear that same B logo on your chest. So, you know, holding our student athletes to a high standard is, is key. And I mean, I don't think the ex, you know, having having high expectations is a I think is a is a great thing. Uh, I, I don't think you need to, you know to tone back on your expectations. Have those high expectations, and I think the, the kids will come in suit. Uh, I mean, I talked a little bit about you know being a role model for our student athletes. Again, I think I, uh, you guys have a huge impact on the on the athletes and student athletes and whatnot. So again, being just having a, a huge being a uh, huge being a role model for these student athletes. Uh, coach certifications. I'll I'll jump through this pretty quick. You know, I, I, like I said in my emails, I've been sending out must be all green before season starts. Concussion first aid, first aid. Fundamentals of coaching: sudden cardiac sudden cardiac arrest, and then also the PAP, which is the last. Excuse me, which is the last. Uh, certification that you will have to do through the OBE. Uh, any questions about that, like Carly and I know, Carly is, gonna, is kind of spearheading all the coach certifications. So again, get those done ASAP. Uh, check final form, and just, obviously just check final form to see if there's any expired certifications. Uh, if you need um, the informational sheet that we have for that, just let us know, like Carly and I know, and we'll, we'll get it in your hands. One thing that they that they can do now too is you can upload all, all your certifications to final forms. And hopefully all coaches by now know what final forms is. It's our database system that we host, hold all of our uh, you know, uh, coaches certifications, students, uh, information, um, rosters, you know, you can send emails and communication through that as well. So that's that's good to go. Uh, Virtus, obviously, hopefully by all coaches by now know know what Virtus is. It's you know, it, it's the um, the, the, the Diocese of, of Cleveland requires this. It must be cleaned, uh, completed before the season starts, obviously. Um, if you don't know what that is, get with us ASAP. Background check, obviously, must be completed, completed before the season starts. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you don't have that information, let us know. CPR first aid, pretty easy. Um, send us receipts. Send me send receipts of, of your CPR first aid, whatever it may be, fundamentals of coaching to me, and I'll get you reimbursed ASAP. Um, and then I'll obviously emails were sent to all the head coaches to confirm coaching staff. If you have not sent me an email for your, your uh, coaching staff confirmed, please let me know ASAP. Final forms, every student athlete you know, needs to be green, just like the coaches. They may need to be registered. If, you, if there's a student on there, student that's on there that doesn't need to be on there, let us know. Or if there's a student that needs to be added to the, to the final forms account or your, your team, let us know ASAP, like Carly and I know they need to be registered. They need to have a valid physical and then also the both forms need to be signed. The parent and the uh, student athlete form need to be signed. Um, confirm the rosters before games and matches begin. Obviously let Carly and I know um, final forms, who's on there, who's not on there, who needs to be confirmed, uh, their number, name, position, all that stuff. If, if that's applicable for your sport, uh, let us know, like Carly and I know of any kind of roster changes throughout the season or, or anything before the season starts. 
Um, one thing with just like these the coach certifications, the student athletes can now upload their own fiscals or parents can upload the fiscals to straight to final forms. And then Carly and I will actually get an email uh, about that and we will update it on our end. Uh, make sure you have the final forms widget on your phone. It's it's pretty quick, pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Um, it, it's quick and easy uh, just in case you need to call um, you know, their parents or, or a student athlete's parents or whatnot if there's any type of emergency or if you just need to have that widget on your phone for roster checks or whatever it may be. Um, and then one thing too, just make sure you have your information updated in, uh, in final forms, your birthday, your, your, your address, um, all that good stuff, just that we're staying up to date on our coaches. And um, we also need that information for onboarding and also HR items. So go ahead and upload that as, or update that as ASAP. Uh, we do have a new website. Maybe I wouldn't say necessarily new, but we have a decently new website, uh, Blackboard. That is our website. Feel free to jump on it. Everything and anything is on there. We're going to be getting the um, the rosters and schedules. Schedules are already up for winter, but rosters will be on there once teams are confirmed. Like I said, we need rosters confirmed once practices start. Schedules need to be sent to Carly and I before the season. Obviously, I, I try to like to have it usually a season before uh, before ahead of time. Um, to put on the website, but you know, let's get you know, stay in constant communication with Carly and I about the, uh, your your schedules and practices. Um, you know, reports obviously reporting the scores that are going to be journal. I sent email out earlier in the season about that, uh, and just keep Carly and I informed on game scores. Obviously, so, obviously, so we can update the the website and keep everybody uh, on the same page. Uh, moving on to you know some team and parent meetings. Uh, this is kind of for you for to to relate to your parents. Obviously, communication communication process needs to be followed with all parents. Um, obviously that, you know, again, I, I like to say, you know, give the student athletes a voice, let them, you know, uh, you know, again, learn and have these life lessons where they can actually use their voice to come and talk to you. If there's a problem with something, have the coaches or have the parents, not parents, have the student athletes come to you. If there's a, you know, an issue about playing time or something, whatever it may be, you know, have them, encourage them to come to you and, and, and ask questions or, or, or voice their opinions. I don't like to have the parents you know, go right around the, the player and go straight to coach or straight to me. Again, I want this to be a communication process where the student athlete, you know, comes to you first. And obviously if that, if that doesn't get resolved or whatever it may be, then the parent and the student athlete can come and talk to you. And then if I need to get involved or Kim or whoever needs to get involved, then we will get involved. But again, it's putting the emphasis on the student athlete to use their voice and, and, and come to you for any type of issues or questions, comments, concerns. Uh, there's a, there's a couple of different you know platforms you know I've sent out the the band app I, I love the band app it's easy it's, it's accessible um, it's it's you know user friendly I think it for all ages shapes sizes forms whatever it may be um, we also obviously use final forms to send out emails so again just make sure you have some type of communication process um, and, and platform that you're using. Uh, we talked about player communication and playing time, obviously. Uh, outline your expectations, your goals, your rules at the beginning of the season, and also just keep keep them, keep the parents and players informed of your goals and expectations throughout the season. You know, keep them in the loop. Um, captains, just laying out expectations for your captains. Don't just call them a captain. Let them know what their rules are, what the, what the guidelines are, procedures, what you, what you want them to do, what your expectations are for the captains. Um, eligibility. Obviously, you know, they need to be present for at least two academic blocks during the day. That's going to be a big, um, a big piece of it. Please just push this, you know, just come to school for at least two, two academic blocks to participate in, you know, practices and games. Uh, we have our athletic coaches handbook that I have updated um, and we'll continue to update as the season goes on and as the year goes on and we'll make some more updates in the summer. But again, just wanted to keep you guys in the loop about that. Culture, again, I, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but you know, obviously, you know, you dictate your culture. Uh, every team has their own, you know, their own culture. Um, I, I encourage to, you know, I encourage you to, to try and, and do different things or, or continue to do what you want to do. Um, but again, I think you need to know, you know, parents and coaches and everybody, you know, want, you know they you want to know what your, the team is about. So again, just establishing your culture, whatever, what your team is about, what your program is about, um, and just instilling that within the programs. Um, obviously, pretty pretty self-explanatory for final forms. Make sure all student athletes are on final forms and completed all requirements. Um, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, transportation, uh, as many of you already know, it's kind of been a a, a pain in the butt. Uh, we're working on it, but uh, you know, get your trip request to Carly as soon as possible. If you know your schedule for the year, just or for the season, get it with get it with Carly ASAP, um, and just express to the, when you have your parent meetings. 
Um, just express how transportation can be an issue. So just be patient with coaches, be patient with the athletic office, just be patient with us in general. Um, game up and volunteers. We obviously, you know, we'll, we'll need some help with some, you know, obviously this is mainly for basketball and, and uh, you know, mainly boys and girls basketball, but others might be some other volunteer work for maybe other different sports. You know, we help with obviously scoreboard stats, gate workers, different things like that. You know, if you're interested, obviously you have the, um, if you're interested in gate working, let me know. But uh, obviously our team need a bunch of different volunteer help. Um, so coaches, just make sure you have, you know, everything squared away with your uh, volunteer help um, throughout the season. Uh, obviously lean on, lean on your parents a little bit, get them involved as much as possible. Um, hometown taking, we'll be sending out spectator policy before the season begins. We, um, I would, I, 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 what I'm doing is I'm, I'm sending out a, a parent meeting and I'll, I'll get to this in a little bit, but I'll put that on the parent meeting. Um, parent preseason PowerPoint video. Um, we, I, I'm in the process or I, I've already made the video. Uh, the video is down here below, uh, on the very last bullet, bullet point. Um, go ahead and feel free to watch it. You know, I'm going to be sending it out to the parents as well as uploading it to final forms here, probably the next couple of days. Uh, that just kind of outlines the whole season, uh, what to expect, just some overarching big ticket items. Um, you know, what the philosophy is of the athletic office, what we want to do moving forward, yada, yada, yada. So, um, again, I'll be sending it out here in the next couple of days. Uh, season passes, we are in the process of you know, setting up our season passes for the year. Um, so those will be sent out, information will be sent out here shortly. Um, schedules, that will, will be on the website. They're already on the websites. Uh, most of them are for the winter season are already on the websites. If not, they're already done. Picture day, picture day is November 14th. Uh, market calendars. Uh, Carly will be getting with coaches on you know times, dates, different things like that. Um, for that, parent, like I said, parent and player informational meeting video. That's just an information video, like our parent meeting, our overarching parent meeting. I've done it in the past where I've done it in, in person. I've done it online. I think it works a lot easier online because then they can be, then they can the parents can players can go at their own leisure at their own pace, as well as not bringing a bunch of people into the gym and sit through a 35, 40 minute present a boring presentation like this. So that's that moving on since just some seasonal coaching items, um, from your senior night with the athletic office before the season starts. So let us know ASAP what your, your, um, senior night is going to be. Uh, we're going to, we're going to be confirming youth nights with the, with the, um, with the admissions office. So as soon as we know what those dates are, we'll let you guys know. Uh, records and milestones, just keep us updated on some records and milestones. If there's anything that's coming up big, whether it's a hundredth win or 50th point or whatever it may be, let us know. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll keep it on our radar and make sure to, to post that, that information out. Uh, Spearware vendors, um, obviously, um, you know, there's, uh, we, we work with a bunch of different vendors. I'm trying to maybe spearhead it to a couple different vendors and that more information will come out about that here in the next couple of weeks. Spotify, for those of you that have a that have home games, maybe mainly just boys and girls basketball, um, you have the captains or the or the seniors create some type of Spotify playlist, and then we're gonna have to have have to use, have you screen the music. Uh, just make sure there's no f bombs or n words or whatever it may be. Uh, EAP, I'm working with Brian uh, B Knight to to you know update our EAPs or our emergency action plans. Um, that'll be sent out in the next couple of weeks. Keys and badges. Any coaches that don't have a key or a key fob or a badge, let us let us know ASAP. I'll, I'll get you one. Um, if you if you don't need one, that's that's great. But if you do need one, let me know ASAP, and we'll, we'll Carl and I will get you situated. Uh, we do have the uh, obviously work with Huddle. Um, most head coaches probably know what Huddle is by now. If you don't, let me know. We'll get you set up on Huddle. Uh, we do have the Huddle camera, obviously in the gym and also at, at the, uh, the, the football stadium or the just the stadium in general. Um, so that's that seasonal goals. I like to just talk to coaches and see if there's any, if there's any seasonal goals for the year. Uh, head coaches, if you have any goals for the year, let me know. Um, all entry, you know, tournament fees. I like to try to get those in, you know, this is mainly wrestling, sock, you know, swimmings, bowlings, um, any entry, entry fees for this, for the year, for the season, you know, get those into me ASAP, um, so that we can, you know, get those paid for. Inventory of jerseys and equipment. Obviously, you know, just keeping track of your jerseys, your equipment, what you need, what you don't. Uh, I know most of the head coaches have already kind of talked to you about that. But keeping an inventory of, of obviously of your jerseys and equipment. Coaches' contracts. Working on these as we speak. You know, I, I, I've given them to Carly to, to sign off for your virtus and your your PAP. Those once those are done, uh, once she's done signing those off, they will be in your, your mailbox in Carly's office. Um, 
set, you know, obviously, you know, we're talking about some needs and wants, you know, I've already talked with the head coaches about some needs and wants, but obviously, you know, we'll talk about what it, what are some needs and wants for the season um, and for also for next season. Um, budget, basically, I talked to the head coaches about what your budget is for the season. Uh, everything purchased must be approved through the athletic office first. Obviously, if, if you if you purchase on your own and it's on the budget, it will be your responsibility or out of your FIT. Um, so obviously, you know, you'll need to send all equipment needs to the athletic office early. Send quotes uh, to myself for POs. You know, get POs in early. That's one big thing I, I've noticed here in my, my short time here. You know, get, getting your POs in early because those can take a little bit of time. Uh, if you don't know the PO process or the invoice process, just give it me uh, as soon as I can, as soon as you can, and I will kind of inform you of that. Um, I talked about coaches' contracts. Keep you know, just basically, just keeping track of your FIT balance. I know Jeff, the business office, keeps track of your FIT, but again, just keep track of your of your FIT, just to for more of a kind of a checks and balances type of um, checks and balances type of, uh, you know, mentality. So uh, you talked a little bit about spirit wear equipment, looking to potentially partner with BSN potentially uh, that's it's on the table, but we'll uh, keep you guys posted on what we, what we do moving forward. But I just wanted to keep, you know, get that um, on your radar and on your brain. Moving on. Some other important items, supervision. That's a big one. Uh, please make sure that all, all athletes are supervised at all times. Um, one of the big things that we've been having issues with is, is, you know, student athletes staying, you know, super, super late after practice or after games. I want to make sure that they have a ride and make sure that you are the last ones to leave. That's a big, big thing. That's not, that's even above me. That's something that Kim and Leo want to you know, push moving forward. My OSHA, hopefully by right now, coaches, head coaches, uh, you know, what you know, what that is by now, but obviously complete your state rules meeting ASAP. Um, if you have not completed that yet, please do that uh, as soon as you can. And if you don't know what that is, let me know. And I will, I will sh gladly show you what that is. Uh, your gym schedule, you know, get with Carly as soon as possible about the gym schedule if you have not already. Um, talked about approved vendors, Twitter, Instagram, uh, you know, obviously just, you know, being as active as possible on <clears throat> Twitter, on Instagram, you know, um, highlighting our coaches, our student athletes, what, you know, what great things you do in your program, all that good stuff. Um, Gipper. If you, haven't, if you haven't received an email yet from Gipper, let me know. But Gipper is our, our social media platform that we use, uh, that we are continuing to use now, a new platform uh, that will take our kind of our social media presence to the next level with graphics, with videos, um, a bunch of different things. Um, a booster club, you know, let me know. We obviously work with the booster club. Let me know of any booster club requests before the season starts. That is one request from the booster club about getting you know, the requests that you need. Uh, early in this early in the year uh and i just talked to, uh we're not talking you know, i just uh added the like our you know car uh, mine and carly's kind of roles and responsibilities that's kind of just a running list and who to go to for what different things like that so that is uh you know the the coaches meeting uh just like i said i wanted to talk about some important items for the season a lot of this that we've already talked about but coaches just um, a reminder for all the, those different items um but looking forward to a great season um you know, I thought fall season, you know, we're still in fall season. Fall season has, has, has been doing great. Uh, looking to continue the the progress and, and the process on, on, on winter season and looking forward to uh, a great season. But uh, if there's any questions, comments, concerns like Carly or I know, uh, but again, looking, looking forward to the, to the season um, and then uh, go Irish.